All right, so we're back here with uh, this, this deer we just mounted up not too long ago, and we're gonna replace this drop tine here on this deer. Uh, and what I've got here is a piece of antler off another deer or off a shed. And this is the same shape as what this deer had here. Uh, we have a picture of this deer, and this is pretty much exactly what he had. And what I've done already, I've taken and cut this off and I've grooved, cut out a, a notch in here and kind of groove that out to the same shape of, of the split that's on this tine here. And that way it will fit a little better. And the other thing I have is a piece of wire and uh, that's only about an eighth inch wire, I believe is, is the diameter of it. And what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna drill a hole in that main bead there and I'm gonna drill a hole in the uh, in the tine and we're gonna place this together. I'm gonna glue the pin in there to make sure that it'll hold. So we'll go over here to the vise. We're gonna drill a hole. I've already figured out where I want the hole to be. doing that you try and do you try to drill right in the middle you want to stay in the middle that way you've got plenty of meat there to grab a hold of with the uh, pin now I'm just going to kind of pre-fit this a little bit just to make sure I get it in the right spot kind of line everything up this is going to be going just like this I don't know if you can come in with the camera from the back you can see I've already notched this out so that it would fit a little better And now I'm just going to kind of figure out where that pin needs to go, line everything up. So right here is where I need to drill my hole. Looks like about right there. It's going to be harder drilling into this part than it would be is going into this time because there's marrow here in the middle of this time. And here we're coming into a big chunk of just, you know, it's just bone there, it's real solid. So it's a little harder to drill into. So I'll make sure my pin's gonna fit, make sure everything goes together right. My pin's a little long, so I'm gonna snip a little bit of it off. And then just dropped it. <clears throat> so. Snip that off, pre-fit it again. That's pretty good. It's just a little bit long, so I'm gonna take a little bit more of it off. I think we'll be good. Yeah, now it fits pretty good. Now, what I'm gonna take and do now is let me find out what I've done with it. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> I'm gonna take some gorilla glue and I'm gonna drop in that hole. Need to be opened up. Won't take very much. Now I'm gonna let that set for a little bit. It won't take but a few seconds and I'm gonna go ahead and add some up here too. Now, I'm gonna take and we're going to use epoxy sculpt. It's a two part to get it both about the same equal amount. Mix it up real quick. And this is just a neutral color, so we can paint over it. 
I do have some brown, but it's too dark of a brown. So we'll just use this natural color here. All right. So what I'm going to do is take this epoxy sculpt and I'm going to put it on the antler and the tine. And you can get a little more than you need because it's easy to trim off. Now we've got the epoxy sculpt on there. I've added the glue. Now we're going to squeeze this thing on there. And where this point was splintered out, I'm going to take what's left of the epoxy sculpt and fill in that splintered area, fill in that gap. And I'll come around back here and then fill in this little bit of a gap here. And this epoxy sculpt sticks really good to everything. And when this hardens, it'll be rock hard. And you'll have to take a hammer. You know, this will be just like a any of these other points. You'll be able to take a hammer and hit this thing. And you'll have to hit it really hard to get it off there. I want to kind of overlap that around that point. Now what I'm going to do is take some safety solvent, which I already have out here on the lid. I'm going to blend this in, smooth it out. Safety solvent really makes this stuff smooth. Easy to really work with. So now I'm going to take my uh, sculpting tool and we're going to sand this down later too, but I'm going to put some detail in it with my tool. And I can make these a little bit deeper, not or uh, grooves in here. And then when I come in with the tool, those grooves won't be quite as deep, but I want to try and match them up with the point on here. about 30 minutes and then we'll come back and paint it. So what I'm using for color is buckskin tan and cocoa brown and I've already come in here and I've sanded this a little bit, tried to get it the, the shape we need. Uh, I can't use the, uh, the stain on the uh, epoxy sculpt because it won't accept the stain that well but we can paint it as close to the color we need <clears throat> i'm going to put in the uh, buckskin tan first it's the lighter color try and blend it in with the, the color of the point now i'm going to come in later and also i'm going to stain this part of the antler to match this, but that'll be after this paint dries on here. So I want to make sure I clean this buckskin tan out good. I don't want it to blend in with my cocoa brown. Buckskin tan is a little bit thicker pigment paint. Uh, I think they, it takes a little more. It's, they've mixed more colors to get the buckskin tan color. So there's more pigments in the paint and it's uh, a little harder to uh, get out of your airbrush.
Now I'm using cocoa brown. It's a darker brown color. Same color we used on the eyes and around the nose. But it's also good color for the antlers. <sighs> I'm not sure I got about the right going on here. You can see it, it blends in pretty good. Putting the cocoa brown inside the, the grooves, the indentions on this point. So now I'll let that set up. And then I can come back in just a little bit later and just very lightly go over that with sandpaper and then uh, do a little more blending and that should all come together. Uh, and then I'm gonna stain this drop tine here with our walnut stain that we have that matches the stain on our uh, antlers also. And that'll all blend in together and look like he'll have a, like he never broke his drop tine. So that's about it. Get him down here to where you can look at him. That's about all I have for this deer. Thanks for joining us. Hope to see you again soon. We're gonna be uh, finishing that bear back there on the, the latest video on it. And uh, hopefully a few other things will come up and we'll We'll show you some stuff then. Thanks.